Yo, well here we are again. Another Craftopia seamless development report for March. As you may or may not know, Pocket Pair does these development reports every few months to keep us updated with the progress of the seamless map update. Now I miss Craftopia dearly and I am planning on returning any day now. But until then, let's check out what they have in store for us this time. Please do drop a like and subscribe. Remember to join the Kaz Gang Discord. All the links are down below. But let's do this. Development status report on Craftopia seamless world update for March. March. Thank you for playing Craftopia. This is the development status report on Craftopia's seamless world update. Current development status. Improvements on vehicles. We've added vehicle inventory, which you have all been waiting for. Have I? <laughs> Some vehicles like motorcycle will have their inventory. In other words, storage space. You can store excess items while exploring around. If the vehicle gets destroyed while items are stored in it, a leather bag which contains the stored items will be dropped. So you can keep driving at wild speed. Now I'm not quite sure I agree that we have all been waiting for this, because I'm pretty sure anybody with auto farms or an auto gacha setup doesn't really care about field resources. However, taking into consideration that seems Seamless is an open world, and although does still offer a teleporting system, it doesn't seem as if it's going to be quite as easy to just pop back to your base. So sure, this could be a great thing. But in current Craftopia, I don't pick up anything. So with the insane character storage that our characters have, I'm curious to see just how useful this really is. Small biomes discovered. Redesigning and combining processes of isolated biomes resulted in discovery of small biomes, which are different from large ones such as Snowy Mountain or Volcanic Mountain. You will find biome-specific materials and mutated goblins that adapted to its environment around new biomes. This is actually my favorite part of this development report. Having spots in between two large biomes that could feature a mini biome, this not only adds variety for our traveling around, but it also allows us to find that perfect spot for the bases that we want. Although they do say these mini biomes may contain mutated goblins, so be careful I guess. Adding pet skills. Your adorable pets will do some more for you in Seamless Map Update. We've developed various pet skills such as attacking enemies, buffing allies, or restoring life. These skills can be exchanged with one another to customize your pets. This allows you to have mono of different styles that meet your playstyles and preferences. Mono that hunts mobs to grind, or mono that is specialized in restoring your life. Your pets can learn pet skills if they meet some requirements. You can even train their skills to increase its level to have better effects. Pets are currently doing warm-up and waiting for their debuts in the seamless map update. Stay tuned. We keep you updated by posting the development status report. Please stay tuned. Thank you for your continued support, Craftopia development team. Now this of course sounds like a huge upgrade on our current pet system, which let's be honest, is pretty terrible. The pet system was always meant to be such a big part of Craftopia, but it was just bad. Sure, flying on a griffin or high speed running on a golden pico was fun and useful, but nothing that a helicopter or a buggy can't achieve. And it's great to see monos getting more uses. We all love monos, but either these pets need to be savage killers, or I hope the balancing that's coming to the rest of the game is done to perfection. If the devs think that I'm gonna wait for this little mono to do his little spin attack, while in current Craftopia we can deal millions of damage with a single strike, come on. I absolutely love everything that we've read in this development report and in every development report that's come before this, but I need information on balancing at this point. Are pets going to be hitting on par with us? Are we going to be hitting on par with pets? Of course, any improvement on pets is a good thing, but it is kind of hard to think of Craftopia where I actually need a pet's help. That is some serious nerfing if that's the case, and I am all for that. Nerf everything into the ground. <laughs> Now another thing I'm really hoping we hear about is how merchants and the whole economy is going to be adjusted. Imagine they take out Gacha. Imagine they don't. I think the majority of the problems within Craftopia are revolved around the merchants. I don't think it's the merchants fault, I think it's how easy it is to get money and how cheap everything else is. On top of that, Gacha farming is incredibly OP, automatic farms are incredibly OP, and I love automatic farms more than anybody. But there's a lot that just takes away from the actual 
economy to the game, and I think that takes away a huge part of the actual grind. Once you discover the powers of gacha, your grind will now only be gacha, because it just makes sense. Now sure, they may have a whole plan for this, and I hope one day we find that out, but if peaches sell for more than 10 gold coins, it's already bad news. But anyway, that's everything for the March development report. Of course, I will continue to keep you updated with everything Craftopia, and I am planning to make my return very, very soon. Please do drop a like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of these changes, but also let me know what you're hoping we get some information about. Remember to join the Kazgang Discord, the number one place for Craftopia. All the links are down below, but most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!